Hello and welcome to Baseball Look Reviews. My name is Jason. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about a question that I often get asked, um, and if I don't get asked, I, I actually see a lot of people getting it wrong, is that how to use your binoculars with a pair of, um, whilst wearing some glasses, and how this is related to the eye relief of binocular, and we'll also take a look at um, the different types of eye cups that you do get on a binocular, and which ones would be best to use, um, especially for those people who are using their binoculars whilst wearing um, eye glasses. Okay, so um, to start off with, uh, all binoculars um, come with some sort of eye cup on them. And the, the idea of the eye cup, um, which most people um, don't sort of realize, is to um, enable your, your uh, one, it's, it's, it's a, a bit more of a comfortable, more comfortable surface to position your face or, or you know, the, the outsides of your eyes against. Um, but its main purpose is to make sure that your eyes set the correct distance behind the, the ocular lenses um, in order to you, for you to achieve full field of view. If your eyes are not at, at the correct um, distance behind the, the actual lens over here, so for instance, if you, if you purposely position your face, for, you know, you don't hold the binocular um, against, your, against your face and you look from a further distance far, far back, you'll see as you go further and further back, um, the view you see through the, through the binoculars actually d diminishes, it gets smaller and smaller, and, and along the, on the outside of the view, you get a, a black ring forming, in it. and as you go back, that black ring gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so at, at the correct distance, when your eye is the correct distance behind the, the actual lens, uh, what you get to see is that the full field of view, so you see, you're seeing more of an image or a wider view, um, and there shouldn't be any back rings around the edges of, of the view that you're, you, that you're seeing. Okay, so um, each binocular, um, different binoculars come with a different amount of eye relief. Um, and uh, if you look when you when you when you um, through my reviews or when you um, purchasing a binocular, just take a, um, a look and make sure that um, the, the amount of eye relief is stated um, by the manufacturer, because it's it's quite an important number, um, especially if you you plan to or need to use your binoculars um, whilst wearing glasses. Um, this relates to another uh, question that I often get asked is, um, do I need to wear my glasses whilst um, um, using binoculars? Uh, and the answer depends. I mean, um, it depends on, on the slight um, issue you have with your eyesight and why you wear your binoculars. Um, why you wear glasses, excuse me. Uh, there are many people out there who are short-sighted or long-sighted don't actually need to use um, their glasses at all whilst wearing binoculars. It's, it's other issues that, that force people to. But having said that, you know, if you're out in the field and you um, just you know you wear glasses from day to day, and then you, you have your binoculars with you, um, for some people it just becomes a bit of a pain to actually take their glasses off and then look through their binoculars all the time. Um, you end up getting a bit jumbled up, and you end up uh, misplacing your glasses or you know uh, something like that. Or it just you know it just takes some certain time, uh, a bit of time to do it. I see a lot of people doing it, and they don't actually you know they could just set up the binocular correctly to accommodate their glasses. And then they, they could just um, use the, keep, keep the glasses on their face um, and, and look through the binoculars without having to, to swap over every time. And, and this is the same for if you if you, you know perhaps wearing sunglasses, um, you, you know if, if you want to, you could keep the sunglasses on and still be able to look through the pair of binoculars and get a, a really good wide field of view um, without you know uh, at all reducing the experience you have when looking through a binocular. I mean, having said that, I, I always prefer to, to take my glasses off. Um, uh, I mean, I don't wear prescription glasses, but if I'm having sunglasses, I, I usually almost always take them off before looking through my binoculars, just because I, I get a more immersive feel when I do. But, you know, each to their own, and some people um, don't want to. But the most important thing is to be able to set it up correctly so that you you make sure that you're still achieving the, the, the best, widest view, most higher quality view that you can achieve. Okay, so slight digression there, but anyway, uh, the eye cups. Uh, so, the, so the manufacturers um, should um, uh, position the eye cups when they're fully ret um, extended like this, um, and you put um, your face against them. Um, this is the correct amount of eye relief um, for in order to achieve the best possible um, wider view, um, and that's at, at the eye relief um, that the manufacturer states is, is the right one. They don't always get this right, but it's usually pretty close. And then also just um, when I said they don't always really get it right, what you must also um, consider is that they just um, basing that on a, an average face, as you were. You know, different people out there will have different shaped faces. You know, the perhaps the bridge between your two eyes or your nose is slightly um, different shape or whatever like that. And so um, 
uh, if, even if you don't wear glasses, some people may have to adjust the distance um, slightly just in order to um, achieve the, the correct distance. So, so that's why something like twist up eye cups, they're really great because you can twist them you know, partly inwards. You don't have to go f um, fully maximum or to the, you know, you can turn any position on yeah, on a good pair of binoculars. The resistance is um, enough so that you, I can position them at any point and they will they will stay there quite sturdily. And, and, and that's something really to do look forward to a pair of binoculars. And if you read my reviews, I, it's it's a point that I do make because um, some of the cheaper binoculars out there, even with um, twist up eye cups, you know, you have the eye cup, you want to push it, position it you know, a, a sort of certain distance away that's correct for you, and you push your eyes against it, and it actually just it, it, it folds inwards like that, uh, which can become a bit of a pain, and you have to like feather your your face against the eyes, uh, um, against the cups, and it just becomes a, something that you shouldn't have to worry about. And it is something to look for on a, on a, on a good pair of binoculars, um, like these. The other thing is, um, binoculars um, with twist eye cups will often have a, a click stop um, or two. Some of them, um, this only has one, and these not so that, that it actually clicks into place at this position. But having said that, that these have enough resistance to position it anywhere along the, the along the from fully extended to fully retracted. So there you go. So. People who wear glasses, um, so, so people who don't wear glasses will generally have them fully extended. I mean, because that's, but you know, depending on your face, you might need to change it. But generally, you'll have it, you'll, you'll fully extend the eye cups, and that's, you, you're ready to go. Now, so what happens when you, when you want to wear um, glasses and look through your binoculars? So if you imagine my eyes are basically the, the uh, at position of my um, palm of my hand over here. If if I don't have glasses on, my eyes can go right up against cups, and you know that's the correct position. Now, if I put glasses in between my eyes and the uh, and the actual binocular, you'll see that the glass um, creates a, an, a further a bigger gap over here. So to accommodate for this gap, basically all you need to do is is twist the eye cups in. Now, quite often it'll mean um, you twist them in fully. And as you can see, your the, the, the actual glasses get a lot closer to the to the lens, um, the ocular lens in the binocular, um, and then thus your eyes move forward too, and and hopefully then you'll still you'll be able to achieve the uh, full field of view. But this is where it's important that the pair of binoculars that you choose, especially if you want to use glasses, um, the pair of binoculars you choose should have enough eye relief so that it can actually accommodate um, for the distance. Now this will obviously depend on. And the type of glasses you wear, I mean, some, some glasses are more flat, um, or some glasses, you, your eyes sit a bit further back on the, on the inside of the, of the glass, and some people's eyes are a bit closer to the lenses. You know, it will depend on a, a number of factors, how close you can get to the, the actual ocular lens. So to be safe, you're looking for a binocular that has a, a lot of movement over here, so you can um, adjust them accordingly. At the same time, they need a lot of movement. They need to be able to stop at any point um, from fully retracted, so that you can get your your eyes correct behind there you know, at the correct distance. So, um, how much is enough? I mean, again, it, it is, as I said, a bit difficult because of different shaped faces, different shaped glasses, and all those things. But generally, um, about 16 millimeters is safe. Um, you know, you do get binoculars that are very long eye relief. You can get up to 18, 90 millimeters. Um, and about 16 millimeters is, is a considered, I consider, a long eye relief binocular. Many people get away with 15, 14 millimeters and be able to wear their glasses quite fine. I, I always test when I do my tests. Um, I will wear glasses um, and test the binocular. Um, whilst wearing glasses, see if I can actually achieve the full view. And I found that um, with a pair of glasses like this, often I get away with about 14 millimeters without a problem. Uh, so there you have it. So um, if you wear glasses, if you need to wear glasses, look for an binocular that has a, a, a large amount of eye relief, um, so that you can position your your eyes at the correct distance with the with the glass in between. Now, so lastly, um, the, the binocular that I've been just demonstrating over here. Um, has a really good uh, set of uh, twist up eye cups. They, they, as, a, as I said, they, they can position any point along and, and stay there. Um, another common design of binoculars, and I'll bring out a very old pair, it's about 20 years old. This is, this is actually the, the first pair of binoculars I ever owned, and was one, <laughs> it was one of the reasons that I ended up um, starting Best Binocular Reviews, because I used to uh, work as, when I was working as a safari guide. Um, these were the first binoculars I got, and 
uh, I couldn't find any reviews on the web or any information. So, and it was something that stuck in my mind. It was something I should think about doing in, in, in the future. And, and this is where I am now. Anyway, the binoculars I bought, um, these, these these old Steiners, they weren't that expensive. Um, you know, these days I'd, I'd cross them as a, a low cost binocular, and they come with an, uh, something called a fold up um, eye cups. Um, and you will see that quite a lot of um, lower cost binoculars um, have folding eye cups. Now, um, generally these eye cups, there's, there's nothing particularly wrong with them. They're not bad in any way. I mean, it's just a different design. But the reason cheaper binoculars tend to use them is they're just cheaper to make. I mean, you don't have this mechanism of twist up of here. It's just a, a piece of rubber on the outside. Um, this is totally fine. In fact, sometimes, um, like with these, you know, with the, uh, like the little flaps on the, on the side, uh, um, they, they tend to keep out um, uh, light on the side a bit better, so you get quite a nice immersive experience with them. And they're really comfortable because they're nice and soft. Um, the downside is um, the, the eye relief is set. Um, so you either have it at maximum, so people who don't wear glasses, and if you do wear glasses, <coughs> you can fold the eye cups. So you just basically fold the rubber down with like, like so. Um, and as you can see, these, these are, then you get a, a zero amount, you know, so over there. So, the, but there's no actual um, adjustment in between. So you've either got it on zero or maximum, and that that's it. And as you can see, also the, the other the reason why I don't really often recommend binoculars have rubber eye cups is the fact that these are, as I said, are 20 years old now, but they are starting starting to perish. Um, the rubber is perishing a bit here. So I mean, uh, 20, 20 over 20 years is a, you know a good. Um, a good innings, and, and there have been, especially at the beginning, I used them a hang of a lot. Um, so, you know, nothing against the manufacturer in that. It's just a, a design that over time, this, this rubber, especially if you fold it a lot, I often see on binoculars, um, tend to perish away. So, if, you know, if, by, if I had the choice and I was going, definitely was looking for a pair of binoculars to wear with glasses, I would, I would almost certainly look for a binocular with twist type eye cups, with a long eye relief. Um, and um, you know, read my reviews for binoculars that um, not all um, twist eye cups are the same. Some, as I said, some um, sl slide on very easily. Some have a lot of movement in them. You know, and, and definitely there's a it's a good sign of a, a quality binocular that, where the eye cups um, are, are, are way way better than those on on cheap binoculars. So there you have it. I hope this um, has been um, of interest and uh, slightly educational. I hope I've been able to get my point across. Um, if not, uh, I, I, I employ you to, um, as you can see on, on my website, um, I have an article on it. Um, I'll link to it in the bottom in the comment section. Um, and it, you know, you can go through it at your leisure, um, as well as take a look at um, a number of binoculars that, that I've um, uh, suggest with, with long eye relief. I have a, a, a whole session um, on the website on, on long eye relief binoculars. Um, and, and, and links to all the, the binoculars that I've reviewed that have um, a, a, a long eye reef um, specifically um, to accommodate those wear glasses. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I, as I said, I hope this has been useful and I will see you again next time. Um, oh, before I go, if, if you have any questions or anything and you would like me to try and answer it for you, um, I'll do my best. Um, I, I, I do get a bit busy so I can't answer everyone's, but you know, do send them in and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you again next time.